Uh, hi, I just thought that um, this is probably video is probably a more relevant format for this than a blog, and um, but I just wanted to talk about a few things regarding the online Instagram and YouTube personality Asina O'Neill, who is a 19-year-old personality celebrity who um, recently gave up uh, most of her social media accounts in order to pursue. Um, some kind of battle against the um, social media as some, some kind of evil influence that ruins ruins lives and sets up this ideal for people. Um, that's because she was, um, for a long time, she spent like years obsessing over how many followers she had and how many subscribers she had and how many likes her photos were getting and um, getting modelling contracts and... Um, things like that uh, and she got to half a million followers and she thought that this isn't me, this isn't real and um, I don't necessarily agree with her um, that social media is inherently evil or destructive or has this kind of power to destroy uh, lives but um, it's not that that's the problem and I feel like there's a point that's being missed here um, I'm the same age as Asina, um, uh, so I'm 19, uh, and I don't have anywhere near that lot of you, uh, internet following. I have uh, like a thousand Tumblr followers, uh, I have about 500 followers on other social media, give or take. Um, so um, I don't understand her experience in that way. Like I don't, I don't know what it's like to be a model. Uh, or have all that attention online and I'm sure that's very stressful especially for someone who maybe probably um, later on had a manager or a, an agent uh, probably initially didn't start out with one um, I think there's just this kind of or in this kind of grey area where some like online celebrities aren't quite celebrities as we understand them um, uh, in the mainstream like um, like some like like One Direction or Katy Perry or Miley Cyrus or Laverne Cox or something, they are all mainstream celebrities, um, that haven't found their fame online. Whereas from like Zoella or Tanya Burr, or uh, PewDiePie or something, they all find their fame online, um, and they're now just making their way into the mainstream, um, but they still don't have, seem to have the same status, um, and so in terms of thinking about celebrity, um, models we know supermodels like um Carly Claus or Gigi Hadid um and the the Jenner sisters now um have pursued a kind of um high fashion modeling careers and Victoria's Secret deals and things like that um I feel like there's there's pressure to kind of meet these ideals but I don't expect myself to look like these people who are trained professionals who have their makeup done professionally every day um, have to go on these insane crash diets and um, exercise so much. Um, I don't expect that of myself, but um, I kind of set the standard for myself amongst my peers on the internet. And the thing about that is that um, they really... The, the, so when I see things on Instagram, someone like online, someone like Asina O'Neill might be considered my peer, and when you see her um, with all these kind of unattainable things, like lots of nice things and nice clothes and on lovely beautiful beaches all the time, you see that as, okay, someone like me, my age, has all these things, and I don't. And I think that's where she got frustrated is that she didn't want to suggest that this should be normal and this should be what people aspire to. Um, whereas most people understand that mainstream celebrities, that it's not an attainable standard for everyone. Like, um, not everyone can have designer clothes and things. Whereas things like on Instagram, because we don't have the status for celebrities on there yet, we can, like they become the norm or the expectation of people. So people begin to see that have this obsession with numbers, how many followers they have, how many 
I mean, I don't have her half a million followers, but uh, <laughs> um, I still think not so much when I gain followers, but when I lose them, if I lose f five followers in one day, I think, what have I done wrong? Why don't they like me? Um, whereas I can get out of that mental space um, by th looking at like photos of other girls online that maybe I think are ridiculously pretty or have lovely things, but because they haven't taken it in a certain way or posted it like with certain hashtags, it's just not got the likes. So there is like there's a system to it, and there's a way of succeeding online that we don't. It's, it's a method and it's not a reflection of how of your actual worth and I think that the danger is that perhaps Asina is particularly vulnerable and that there will be young girls that are extremely uh, vulnerable to this kind of um, online celebrity thing I think until we can come to terms with um, the online celebrities very much now have similar lifestyles to real life celebrities and have all these perks um, but because they're not in the public eye so much there's not paparazzi outside taking photos of them they get to live the illusion of a normal life where it's not like that at all these people are being alienated they find it harder to make friends they have to have the right friends the right boyfriend the right clothes I just think that it, there is a danger there uh, for vulnerable young girls that then see that that they have to have all these followers and that it's not just like the people around me and my friends in this kind of select group that have to like me, it's now thousands of people on the internet and it's not just aspiring to, ce to celebrity like some people want to be actors and some people want to fa be famous musicians and authors, it's different because it can be achieved from your bedroom but it can't be achieved by everyone obviously because celebrity has never been attainable for everyone because then it wouldn't be celebrity. I think I made my point. So.